China's Chang'e 5 lunar probe is on its way back to Earth with soil and rocks from the Moon, the first such sample brought back since 1976. As we wait for the arrival of the lunar material, let me tell you what we know so far about these precious souvenirs. The Chang'e 5 lunar probe landed near a 70-kilometer wide volcanic mount on the Moon's near side, which is the lunar hemisphere facing the Earth. It's a place untouched by humanity. The U.S. and the former Soviet Union collected samples from the Moon in the late 1960s and 1970s. But all those samples are very old, about 3 to 4 billion years in age. But the volcanic mound where Chang'e 5 collected its sample may have erupted about 1.3 billion years ago, which means it would contain the youngest Meyer basalt on the Moon. These younger rocks have never been studied. If Chang'e 5's samples confirm that the Moon was still active during this time, an important gap in scientists' understanding of the Moon's volcanic activity would be filled and lead to the rewriting of the history of the Moon. The lander shoveled up some surface material and also drilled a 2-meter deep hole and scooped up soil and rock. In order to handle and study this exciting space cargo, China has built a lunar sample laboratory at the National Astronomical Observatory to store, process, and analysis the samples. After landing on Earth, the sample will be transferred to the lab in a sealed container. The lab's special facility will prevent the sample from being contaminated by the atmosphere and water on our planet. Scientists at the lab will first unpack, sort out, and store the material. They will then conduct long-term studies of the sample according to a strict and scientific experiment design, including analyzing its mineralogical and chemical makeup. CGTN will continue to bring you up-to-date developments regarding the lunar samples brought back by Chang'e 5, so please stay tuned.